have to step up for this team to hit expectations. Well, think about the way that Karis LeVert played last season. To me, he was the team MVP. He played very well during the regular season. He played very well for them in the bubble. The key will be, Ryan, what are you going to do with him? Are you going to start him? Are you going to bring him off the bench? Because he's very good with the ball in his hands as a, and as a playmaker. He's starting to elevate his game. I don't see any reason why it can't continue. And then I also think Joe Harris. Deservedly so, he got paid. He's going to be so important to what they do because he shoots threes, he spaces the floor, and then, of course, Spencer Dinwiddie, another terrific offensive player. So I think early on for Steve Nash, the challenge will be trying to figure out how to get all these guys, what minutes they're going to play, and who's going to be the starting five. It feels like a very deep team, Frank. Yes. Just looking at the depth chart, I mean, it looks like a deep squad. Yeah. And I think that's the importance of the bubble. When everyone knew last season, all right, the Nets weren't a championship team without Kyrie Irving and Kevin and Durant, but they got something of value by going into the bubble, playing games that mattered, being in the playoffs. Think about it, what it did for the uh, development of these younger players. And I think this year, that experience will pay off for the Brooklyn Nets. Even a guy like Timotei Luau Cabarro, yeah. right, who looked yep. like a rotation piece for this team. Frank, if it was up to you, you mentioned the question before. Quick comment here. When it comes to Karis LeVert, in your ideal world, does he come off the bench, control the offense, or does he find you a way to what? play off the ball? You know what? Maybe I'll bring Spencer off the bench and I'll start Karis LeVert with Jared Allen, obviously Joe Harris, and then the two big guys, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. First of all, Kyrie is one of my favorite players of all time. You know, he's brilliant. Uh, skill level historically off the charts. Uh, creative. Um, guts, competitiveness. Uh, so for me to get the coaching is really a, a pleasure. Um, we have a relationship going back to when he was a rookie playing against him. Um, got a chance to, to train him for a couple days in, in New York City after I retired. Must have been five, six years ago. And I got a chance to speak to him, you know, since taking the job. So I'm excited to develop that relationship, uh, watch him continue to, to show greatness on the floor and, and to get to know him in a, in a really meaningful way because he's an incredible person. He's, you know, the, the gestures and the things he's done around uh, the WNBA or social justice, you know, these are things that I really admire. So for him to, to put himself in that position with his platform to help people, Shows there's a really deep person there that, uh, that I've gotten to know, but look forward to really getting to understand and know and learn from. Well, Kevin and I's relationship goes back to when I was still playing. Um, you know, we were actually introduced away from playing against each other through Adam Harrington, Nets assistant coach. Um, it must have been eight years ago we developed a friendship. And we worked together in the offseason. When I retired, I continued to work with him at, at times in the offseason, uh, just as a friend. Um, when I was with Golden State and he came to Golden State, obviously got the chance to work up close and personal during the season uh, for the first time. You know, it's a privilege to work with one of the greatest players to ever play the game and someone that's incredibly coachable, inquisitive, uh, and, and that lends itself to the question of searching for something. I think what I meant was that Kevin's always searching. He's always curious, inquisitive, uh, developing as a human being. So he, he's, a, he's a deep person who has a lot of goals, a lot about him, uh, not just in basketball. So I, I think that comment is, is more about Kevin as, as a human being, the type of person he is, the, how he's always trying to grow, always trying to learn, always asking you know, how he can get better. And uh, if I was any part of that, it was a pleasure because he's somebody that you know, was never afraid to say, help me with this. What do you think about that? And so that's the type of confidence and security it takes in a human being when they're willing to ask for help or know what they don't know. Uh, and he has that along with an incredible drive, work ethic, toughness, and, and historic talent. Like your bill cut.